what is up guys? I'm Dan and I'm back finally with another craft brew review. Today I'm coming at you with this is Shades guys by Holmes Brewery out of Ann Arbor, Michigan. Guys, I was just downstate for a nice trip to see my dad for Father's Day a little bit early. Don't get to see him that often, so I did spend some time with him. Um, he is like me, he loves beer. Me, my fiance, and him went out kind of beer hunting, beer tasting. One place I have not been that I absolutely needed to go was Holmes Brewery, guys. I wanted to go there so, so badly because I'd heard such great things about what they do down there. They lived up to the hype, guys. I did try every single thing they had on the list. I literally, I, I enjoyed almost every single beer I had. I think I had 11 or 12 tastings. And nine out of the 12 were just world-class beers guys it's insane how well they brew sours and how well they brew new england style ipas they are they are to be reckoned with guys you you don't understand how good these guys are i compared them to dancing gnome which is a top brewery in the country in my opinion for new england styles when i went there last year i didn't think anybody would top them i know old nations up there in the conversation for michigan ellison's up there in the conversation but I think, guys, that it is Holmes that is ruling the New England style in Michigan. They're right up there with Old Nation. I'm going to put Holmes just a little bit higher than them. So what did I manage to get? Again, was Shades, the 6.8% um, IPA. It's brewed with flake oats. It's double dry hops with cryo, citra, and Idaho 7 hops, guys. So everything you're looking for in a hazy. Uh, Newsflash here. Quick, quick little info. They are actually releasing Shades this Friday, which will be tomorrow time of recording. Uh, Friday. I was going to get a four-pack. They weren't going to let me. I asked if I could get it in a growler. They said no. For some odd reason, I was able to get it in a 750. Don't know why that's okay. Um, only Mug Club members were able to get the Shades release, guys, but apparently I qualified for it or they just didn't care and they didn't want me to bother them anymore. So they said, screw you, go ahead and take it. So I am going to crack into this, guys. Sorry for the long intro here, but I am just so excited to try this beer. Um, obviously, I already had it, so I don't know why I said I'm excited to try it. I'm excited to try it out of the 750 since it is super fresh, guys. Just got it yesterday. Let's see what we're working with. Oh, yeah. That's carbonation. By the way, got the Tiku glass from Holmes representing hardcore with their beer. Let's go for a pour. Oh, yeah. There's no sweeter sight, guys, than this beautiful, light, creamy, golden, yellow, yet dash of orange thrown in the mix. Just super bright white, fluffy, frothy, foamy head, guys. Super, super creamy, um, dawn soapy, clinging to the glass, but it is falling down. Beautiful, tight, compacted head retention. I have terrible lighting. I wish I could have done this outside. It's way too cold outside right now and dark. But it's a super light, uh, bright yellow. Um, but there's gold and there's orange thrown in the mix. It is literally reminiscent of OJ, just a little bit on the lighter side. Um, again, head retention is holding up real nice. I am getting a whiff of a dankness right from the glass, guys. I'm going for an aroma. Oh, boy, oh, Boy, pungent, just super strong on the nose, guys. Pine, tropical fruit notes for days. I'm getting uh, literally overripe mangoes, overripe pineapples. There's melon. Um, God, it's so citra forward, guys. It's crazy. There's such a, there's almost like this small THC quality in it, but it's so nice and appealing on the nose it's not this like dark dank lagunitas like waldo's beer but it's reminiscent of that dankness and thc quality but yet it's so light and refreshing at the same time with this tropical fruit a little bit of lemon lime melon peaches tangerine skin yeah I, I, there's a lot going on in here guys i'm going for a cheers this is shades released tomorrow i'm having a little early once again cheers Oh, so damn good. So damn good, guys. It's one of the best hazies you will ever encounter, and that's not a lie. I'm not overdoing this at all. Just creamy decadence that goes down your throat. It is amazingly drinkable. 
6.8%, not even close. A little bit of dry bitterness on the back end. I love that it's not this sweet haze bomb that just makes it undrinkable for me. I mean, honestly, I love Boss Tweed, guys. There's sometimes in some batches I get it. It's just a dash too sweet for me. I can't down a whole glass of it. Um, it gets a little bit un unenjoyable by the end. Not saying it's not a world-class beer, because it is. But I love the way this one finishes. Oh, my goodness. There's this big melony vibe, like cantaloupe and honeydews. Um, there's overripe pineapples. There's mangoes. There's possibly, like, papayas in this. I, I get apricots. Um... This little lemon-lime vibe. There's like a dash of floral punch in there. Not overwhelming any way possible. But there's this just a little dank, earthy note that's coming out. Definitely that dankness is strong. Not overdone, though. Again, very creamy and frothy going down. That mouthfeel. Guys, unbelievably creamy. Um, there's this, like, nice, like oatiness that's probably in the mix obviously it's done with oats makes it so decadent and creamy going down i hate to say those words over and over but that's what describes this beer is that it is so punched with hops but beautifully culminated with citrus um stone fruit potentially in there there's even like a little bit of passion fruit maybe like gooseberries going on inside this um uh, but there's again like this Nice green component that comes out, and there's also like an earthiness, and the dog's going crazy upstairs, of course. It, it almost like, it, it tricks you that it's going to be sweet, but then it has this nice drying finish that just makes it so super enjoyable. Um, so easy to go back for another sip because it's begging you uh, to re-wet your palate. I mean, guys... I can't say enough about this beer. It is one of the best hazy beers I've ever encountered. Um, I think I think I honestly said 4.5 at the brewery, and I think I was being modest, so I am going to change my rating right now. It's haunted. It's haunted, guys. I don't give a shit. It's a hundred. It's a five out of five, guys. I have no gripe on this beer. I cannot critique it. I, I was just thinking about it. If I can't critique it, why not give it a five? There's nothing I can do to change this. It's everything I want. It has all that tropical fruit qualities. There's so much citrus forwardness in it. It's dank. It's juicy. It's oaty. Um, it's creamy. There's a dash of floral. There's a dash of um, passion fruit. I mean, it's everything I want in the right volume of it. It's not turned up too much in one direction. It's everything I wanted perfectly culminated into one kind of beer, guys, which is Shades from Homes Brewing. It is what it is, guys. It's five out of five kind of day. I can't ask for a better beer being double dry hopped into a New England style. 6.8% is exactly where I want it. It's not over pungent. It's not too alcoholic. I can go back for another, and then I'll get my buzz, and I will go back for another, let me tell you. This is it, guys. It's Hunted's. Once again, thank you, Holmes, for letting me get this. Apparently, I might have gotten it early, but because I'm not a Mug Club member, but I do love you for it. It is what it is. Uh, I'm Dan, guys. I'm over and out, and I will be reviewing some more Holmes beers in the next couple of days. I will see you on the next one. Five out of five. Thank <laughs> you.